these guys make it hard for all foreigners in the Philippines. Sad situation. It's so hard. So hard. Guys, now, I gotta get into it. These guys know exactly who they are. But I'll, I'll tell you, I'll break it down for you um, when I, more when I get home. Of course, I'm gonna do an intro right here, but these guys, they do make it hard on you guys. Now, these are the same guys that are willing to do everything. What I mean by everything, it's more, these are the fart sniffers. Okay, these are the guys, and I'm not bashing them, to each his own. These are the guys that pay the small farts. These are the guys that <laughs> pay for underwear, you know. You know who they are, but let's get into it. Let's go deeper into it. I remember when I was getting interviews with Filipinas, right? Girls would tell me they were getting hundreds per session. Now, let me explain what I mean. They even wanted me to give them hundreds just for an interview. I wasn't shocked at all, I wasn't shocked at all. Now you have to imagine it like this. Imagine, now this happens to guys all the time. Guys bump into women that say, I need some money for my family. And then you find guys that bump into women saying, oh, you know what? I want you to join this investment. Actually, someone said it to me a day ago and it happens too. It's not just, I need money for a family. It's, hey, you should join this investment. Happens in the Philippines. Now. This is the crazy thing, right? Now, for me, for some guys, it actually makes sense. You think about it, the girl says, I need money for my family. The guy says, well, you know what? How about you show me a little something? Now, first you would think, okay, <laughs> that would be so far-fetched, but no, it's not, because think about it. Th that's the natural reaction for most guys. Oh, let me see something. And the guy's thinking jackpot, you know, this woman really, needs this money, I can get her to do crazy things for me. But, so he says jackpot, right? Okay, I hit the jackpot. This woman turns around to herself, jackpot, because she's already used to showing her goods. She's already used to doing crazy things online. You know, that's why she actually propositions you for money in the first place. A lot of women know. So you'll turn around and say, okay, how about you do this for me? And then once you do that, okay, now she has you in her web. All right, fine, I'll do it. Just make sure you don't tell anyone or make sure you don't show the pictures to anyone. And that's the thing, now that happens all the time. And also for some guys it makes sense, for some girls it makes sense. And the crazy thing about it is I love the Philippines, but you guys already know, a lot of times families are pushing the kids to do this. It's a sad reality, you know, I've even talked about times when I was in Manila and I remember seeing grandmothers with their little granddaughters. It, it was, I don't know if it was great, their granddaughter. There's even been situations where in poor areas, I spoke about it in the past, where I remember they caught someone and then they ran, they caught a, a, a sex trafficking sting and then there was a dildo on the floor and there was young girls using, it, it was crazy, using dildos, you know, to guys and they were located in the US. You know, they were sex trafficking pretty much and not necessarily sex trafficking. They were, you know, had pedophiles showing some crazy things, but that's that's neither here nor there. Let me get into this. Now, also guys, what's wrong it is the guys willing to pay. See, the thing is, what you guys are bumping into, especially with online dating, is that so many guys are willing to pay. Now it's even happen, gonna be hard for harder for guys in person. Don't get me wrong, you'll still come to the Philippines and find success, but it's getting harder because you know what's in the Philippines now? Seeking arrangements. And I uh, viewed some things, okay? As you can see here, I did. And the crazy thing about it was, guys, Filipinas are there, are looking. Now what's happening is not all, but a lot are being tainted. A lot of them are hip to the ways of the West. Of course, this is the most influenced by, by America one of the most influenced countries by America. So, you know, women know. They can go right on seeking. 
they can go on other sites and make it happen. You know, they look for guys that are going to take care of them. And it's easy because guys are out there ready to take care of these women. So that's what's going to make it hard on you guys. The guy that comes over here just willing to pay to play and, and, and doing that. And it's a lot of times it'll be a guy that would be younger than you. It would be a guy that will have more money than you. And most women looking for that one guy, it's, it's turning to the same way of the West. Where you're going to have most women looking to that guy that makes over 100000 a year. It's happening here too. It's happening slowly, but it's happening. And I was on there and from what I seen myself, it's like, man... I, like, I research this stuff all the time, guys. It's happening. And that's going to be the guy. These guys are going to ruin it for you, for you guys. Now, I know before, it was that guy. The guy you had to worry about was the guy that came over here with 10000 to spend. Guys do come here and do that. Guys come over here 5000 even more, 10000 20000 to blow, uh, taking girls on trips, taking five girls with them to the islands. That guy is not the danger anymore. Now, it's that guy, but that guy... Is the guy that's willing to fund everything and they're willing to do it for multiple women in a different way not just come here and blow that money they're doing it already online so when they come it's already set for so what's going to happen is for a lot of you guys you know you feel that you need to show that you can provide and for some of you guys it does help but a lot of the time you know they're always going to find one that can provide more and you just have to be careful you just have to keep your Head on a swivel and, and just be careful, man. Fights that slowly going to ruin women in, in Southeast Asia, not just the Philippines, the whole Southeast Asia. And it's slowly westernizing women. It's women are already looking at OnlyFans like McDonald's. You know, like, have you had your break today? That's how they're looking at OnlyFans. I've seen a post on different forums online where women from the Philippines were asking, how do I create an OnlyFans account, right? And the crazy thing is, you could create, they can create an OnlyFans account. They just have to have someone backing them. So, for instance, if they had a guy in another country backing them, or they had family in another country, they can create an OnlyFans account. So, guys, it's coming to a door near you, okay? I've even seen a woman, for instance, Bad Bobby, right? Bad Bobby, or Bad Baby, made $50 million on OnlyFans. 52 million dollars to be exact and you know who gave her the money guys like me young black guys older black guys actually funded her her, her mission and that's what's gonna happen too it's getting to the point where it's like i could be with a guy from here and be, get funded that's what's starting to happen now so pretty soon guys are gonna cancel cancel themselves out meaning you have other foreigners that cancel you out when you get here because women found another way. It's not going to happen completely yet, but it's slowly happening. Countries being ruined by these little things that are coming over here, these little websites. And it's been that way, but now it's getting worse. Just want to give you guys a heads up on that. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching the video. And I know it sounds crazy. Some of you guys may say it's far-fetched. But oh, no, it's not. Oh, no, it's not. You have a lot that will still keep the values. But nowadays, those values are slowly moving to the wayside. Meaning you have the older women who are keeping them. You some younger women are keeping them. But still, we have all women. I see even from the Philippines. You know, women in their 30s, 40s that are looking on these sites. Younger, they're looking on these sites. So... Is it something to be completely worried about yet? I wouldn't. But for instance, I'm speak, I speak with guys all the time that tell me about their problems they're having. And this is one of those problems they're having with women being this way. I, I, seen, it, I seen it myself about a year ago when I was getting in interviews. And, and it's true, it's tragic, guys. It's getting worse. Hey guys, I had to make light of the situation a little bit because it's true, guys, it's true. This stuff here, you know, I've talked about it in other videos, but this is a little different. That's why you really can't go online looking for love anymore. You just can't. And it's not necessarily the Filipino fault. It's the ones that are corrupting them. I hope these guys, you know, don't, don't bash them. Just, I just hope that 
It changes and it stops, but it never will. See, with, with OnlyFans now pretty much here, I mean, what else could we do? But well, guys, thanks for watching the video. All right, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you like my content, support me on PayPal. Also, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash JTBF. I'm helping guys out that may not be retired yet who are younger and, and want to wake away in the Philippines. I mean, the Philippines isn't expensive. You know, you can make a way by making an income out here. Not physically here, but online. So if you want more information on that, you're welcome to buy me a coffee as well at buymeacoffee.com forward slash JTBF. I have consultations there where you guys can meet with me and I, I go more in detail for you. So be sure to check out my other content as well. You can see that down in the description. I'm showing a lot of my other videos that I, I recently posted. So be sure to check that out, guys. Guys, you can get a shirt that represents your journey to the Philippines. Not this one. This one is no longer available. Uh, but you can get a shirt that represents your journey to the Philippines at foxtonomy.creator-spring.com. So go there and get your, uh, your gear today. That represents your journey, guys. With all that being said, see you next time. Peace. Thank you.